It's Tuesday, January 31st. You're listening to your Florida Daily. I'm Katrina Scales. Lakeland police are searching for suspects after a mass shooting leaves 10 people hurt. Lakeland Police Chief Sam Taylor says a group of people were gathered outside when a car pulled up and shots started being fired from all four windows. I've been here 34 years and I can tell you I have never worked an event where this many people have been shot at one time. A school bus had just dropped off children about a minute before the gunfire, but police say all of the victims are adults. Officials say they believe this was a targeted attack. In Volusia County, an elementary school substitute teacher is charged with child abuse after police say she was seen hitting a student with a book. According to an arrest affidavit, 25-year-old Madison Anthony was assigned to a classroom for children with learning disabilities at Champion Elementary School in Daytona Beach. Police say Anthony admitted to hitting the child in the head after seeing them hit another student. The district says she is now fired. And a new bill has officially been filed in Tallahassee that would let Floridians carry concealed weapons without getting a permit. As it stands now, anyone who wants to carry a concealed weapon needs to apply for a license and go through a process that includes background checks. This bill would only require people carrying guns to have a valid ID. Brevard County Sheriff Wayne Ivey went to the state capitol yesterday to endorse the idea. Criminals that should have never had a gun in the first place are, are still been arrested, out of jail, and still have the guns. Law-abiding citizens that now don't have to go through a permit process to exercise their constitutional right. Orange County Sheriff John Mina, though, says he is against the idea. In an op-ed in the Orlando Sentinel, Mina called the idea, quote, a recipe for disaster, unquote, that will only lead to more people being killed by gunfire. Lawmakers will consider the proposed law when they meet for the legislative session in March. Find these top stories along with breaking news, weather, and traffic all day on ClickOrlando.com. And now, a completely random Florida fact. The Florida East Coast Railway is owned by a Mexican mining company. Grupo Mexico bought the Florida East Coast Railway in 2017 for $2.1 billion. The FEC was originally developed by Henry Flagler, who is possibly best known for building the railroad to Key West, which was completed in 1912. Your Florida Daily is produced by News 6 WKMG in Orlando. I'm Katrina Scales. You can subscribe for new episodes wherever you like to listen.